I'm glad you've stopped by. So this is a layout I made many years ago of my boys when they were little. It's actually always one of my favorite layouts. I think it's because the colors are all so uniform. Um, my boys, oh, it's just incredible looking back at your kids and you see their t-shirts and you remember like Jawsome and I'm not lying and oh, give me the rock, I'm on fire. So fun to look back at things. And I believe this was paper from my mind's eye, I think. But I've already pre-cut the the pictures that I'm going to use. And so I've there it is a little bit different. This is about the same size. And then this side um because these pictures were all uniform in color, I butted them all up against each other, but uh, these ones I decided to leave a little trim around them. So this side's going to have a little bit extra space here. But I am going to fill this in a little bit differently. But um, same idea, I'm going to have a continue the rectangle so that there's a border going around the outside. So just going to take this layout out of here right now. And I did get the idea for this layout out of, off of Pinterest. I don't, uh, I did look for the pin, but I couldn't really find it back. So if anybody knows who made it and wants to credit them, that would be lovely. I'd be happy to have them have credit for it. So I would like to use this as a background because it's kind of showcasing my front door and I painted the back door the same color um, and how I, I did decorations. Um, for fall. I have very few pumpkin pictures so I'm excited to to use some of the pumpkins from Crisp Air. And this is a different shade of blue but I'm going to make it happen with this. I think it's close enough um, especially since it's going to be on more layered papers. I think it's it's going to look quite good actually. So uh, just going to bring in my other papers here. You're going to hear a lot of consultants say that this is their favorite sheet from Crisp Air. It has the, the plaid um, paprika on the back. Uh, I'm going to have to slide that under because I'm trying to go for having the same um, width of a frame all the way around, obviously. So, and I also need... I just have to ink this. This is too stark white. It needs, it just needs that edging that gives it a definite edge. And I'm gonna be kind of covering up that bottom bit. So that will, there we go. Get that into there, okay. And then this is a sheet from uh, is it called Good Vibes? That 70s paper pack that was just on sale. I imagine it'll come back on sale again, or it might even be. Um, I don't think it's actually online right now for just... But it did make a reappearance in a recent sale. And unless it's sold completely out, I bet you there's, it's going to make another reappearance if we, if we watch for it. So there's that one. And I liked it because it kind of brought all the colors together and it really feels like it matches this. And then in order to bring my colors in together, and you'll remember that on, on my inspiration layout, um, I had some, some flags here and some flags matching ones down here. So this is what these are gonna be. This one here, this speckled one, is from the uh, workshop of Crisp Air. And then this is uh, the back. I like that it's kind of the same print, but it's the back, or it's one of the sheets, one side of one of the sheets from um, Good Vibes as well. There, this is the one. And I think it'll make a comeback if it's not still on there right now. I will look into that. And as always, everything that you can get will be linked. 
so. And the other one is like this, but I don't know if I want, I might do it that way. We'll see, we'll start that way and we'll see, it might change. I just don't like them if they're not inked. Just kind of softens them and gives them that definite edge. Uh, now I'm looking at it and I think I did have it backed off quite a bit there because I liked this orange bit here to continue on this size. So I think I had it in like this and maybe even just like that. Might come down a bit. Now I want the title to be Harvesting Memories. Um, this picture right here is uh, over our back fence is land that belongs to the research station in our community, like in our province, in our country and in our community. So these are a little test plots. I'm not sure how well you can see them, but they're, they're all little test plots. And this is this mini little combine that probably costs the same as a regular size combine. <laughs> But it's just kind of hilarious because it's this mini little combine that does these little test plots. They take about 30 seconds to do. And then they um, bag them and do the next test plot. So it's kind of interesting to watch and they're harvesting on there. And so this is going to go here. I think I'll probably pop it up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to surround it one way or another with pumpkins that I've cut out of this pumpkin sheet. That comes out of crisp air. So you can see I've chopped a bunch out. And I'm gonna use a few of the sticker ones that have the flowers just to tie in these flowers here. So, and what I wanna do is have, build them up so that um, the harvesting memories will probably be popped up and I'll tuck some under and I'll pop some so that they're sitting in front and behind and it's kind of a sign that's propped up just like this sign's propped up in here. So I'll definitely want to, uh, yeah, I've taken the sticky off of here so that I can shift it around. And, and sometimes I'm trying to pick it up and it's hard to pick up. So it's gonna be this kind of idea, right? And I'm just gonna continue to um, add the bin I feel like these pumpkins may be one of those situations where I just went a little overboard. <laughs> um, I don't have a whole lot of embellishments on this page, so I'm okay with it. But seeing myself doing it now after the fact, I see that there was a few times when I thought, oh, it actually looks really good. I could have stopped there. <laughs> so. You know, I've said before, if you have if you're, have watched any of my uh, previous videos on my channel, I do sometimes say that uh, I have a tendency to not know when to stop at times. So definitely um, there's a lot of pumpkins, but I do like how it turned out. I do like the arrangement that I made. I really liked the pumpkins on the sticker sheet from Chris Bear as soon as I got the uh, paper package and but I thought, oh, am I going to have cause to use those? I might have to take some pictures purposely with pumpkins in them because my kids don't carve pumpkins anymore. They're too old and I don't grow a garden. So we don't always have a lot of pictures. I, I don't, I can't think of pictures that I've had for a long time. So when I came across these fall pictures from last year, um, we had, as many of you who've watched this channel before, uh, we had just moved into this house and we had this more stately entranceway so i wanted to decorate it for different seasons so i had bought some pumpkins at the grocery store when they were really just so cheap i think they were two for six dollars or some and the americans are probably saying you paid six dollars for two pumpkins but groceries are expensive in canada let me tell you so i brought a few home and popped them in front of my house and you know, and every time you go to the grocery store, they're getting cheaper because they're trying to get rid of them. So sometimes I'd bring another one home. <laughs> Anyways, I just really like how my entranceway looked kind of um, just folly. And I really like, too, how the Harvesting Memories title kind of uh, mimics how my front step looked. So that turned out really good. These little 
um, title phrases or subtitles or journaling, whatever you want to call them, also came from the sticker sheet. Uh, there was the word beautiful or like the phrase beautiful change, but I wanted them to get shorter and shorter. So I thought beautiful was good. And so I um, added those in and I added some of those little sprigs in that you saw a couple minutes ago there. And now I'm just popping on my flag little clusters, which I am just so tickled with those flags. I love how they just pull all the colors, colors in, sorry, excuse me, pull all the colors in together and just kind of draw your eye across the page. I think the flags kind of draw your eye down to the title, across the pictures, to the other flags on the other side. That's, that's the feeling that I'm getting on this. So I don't really have a visual triangle, but I have more of like a linear line going on. So the finishing touches are just being put on with the dots and um, I'm going to bring in the other layout just so you can have a comparison, a visual comparison of how um, my scrap lift turned out using basically the same, very similar layout design. I'm really excited about this layout. It turned out just pretty well the way I was picturing it. It's a lot brighter colors than the other layout, but I... I think it really complements the colors in the pictures. So I'm quite happy with it. Anyways, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you so desire. Thank you so much. Bye.